today I'm working on a hot press smooth paper. It's Arsh, 140 pound, and I'm going to take a little piece of artist tape because it's a little less sticky, and I like to put it around the edge of the painting to kind of tape it off, and uh, it leaves me a little white border when I'm all through with the painting, then it leaves me a little white border. It looks nice around the edge. It isn't absolutely necessary, but I do like the look of it. So I'll just put that there. Then we're gonna do the drawing of the horse. This kind of subject matter from a still photograph makes the horse look like it's suspended in air and isn't moving. So we're gonna make the horse look like it's moving right now. Ooh, that tape is sticky. Here comes the tape. This is three quarter inch artist tape. Masking tape works as well. You don't want to take the tape off later and have it pull up the paper. So that's not so good. This works fine. I caution you not to burnish it down too strongly because then you're risking it being difficult to get off of the paper and you could indeed pick up some of the paper when you lift it up later. So we're going to go over my materials here in a moment. This is all done here. Just a moment ago, I took a small sprayer. I'll do it again. And I spray my color because they're sitting in my palette here. And of course, they harden up a little bit. And spraying them allows them to soften up. So in a few minutes after I do the drawing, they'll be much more suitable for using. It's really hard to work with hard, hard color.